Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Excel Power Pivot. Today I am going to share my top 5 Excel Power Pivot tricks that will boost your productivity. So let's start the video. Do you know with just one click you can convert your Excel Power Pivot's pivot table to an Excel formula which is dynamic and can be referred to another formula. To do so, we have a pivot table built with data model. Select your pivot table. Go to analyze tab. From the calculation group, select all app tools and click on convert to formulas. Now, this pivot table is converted to a cube value formula. Now, let's suppose we update the sales from 80 to 80,000. Back to the pivot table that has been converted into formula. From the data tab, just click on refresh and we got the updated values. Trick 2. Majors Writing Option In Excel Power Pivot, you have three options to write your majors. Option 1. Power Pivot Calculation Area For that, go to Power Pivot tab, Data Model Group, click on Manage and here you have the calculation area which enables you to write the major. If this area is not enabled, then from the home tab inside power pivot, click on calculation area. Option number two, from the pivot table tab, you have this calculation group and here you can find majors. Click on it, click on new major. Option three, for that, let's create a pivot table from data model. Now right click on the table from the pivot table fields and here you can find add majors option. Click three, Bug in pivot table fields. To understand this trick, let me show you first pivot table calculation and majors and new majors window. If I write a simple DAX, that is sum, press tab. By pressing tab, I am inside the formula writing area. Whereas, if I right click on any table, let's suppose I am choosing customer gender and I select at major, I write sum dex and now when I press tab, I am shifted to another option. So, if you want to write a new major, always prefer to write it from pivot table tab, calculation group, majors and click on new major. If you want to edit any existing major, prefer to right click on that major from the pivot table fields and edit it. Trick 4. We have 11 countries in front of us and we want to show top 5 countries in this pivot table. Click on this button, go to value filter, select top 10 and here we will write top 5 and we got the top 5 countries. But what if we also want to show the grand total including the filter items. Select your pivot table, go to design tab from the subtotal choose include filter items in total. Now we have the grand total including the filtered item and the item visible on our screen. If you want to hide this static from the grand total then right click go to pivot table options from the total and filters and check mark total with static option. Press ok and here we go. We have the grand total for all the items and we have hide the static sign from the grand total. Trick 5. Testing count. In simple pivot table, we cannot perform aggregations to get distinct count. But in power pivot, we have this ability. Right click, go to summarize value by and here we have the option of distinct count. Click on it and we got our result in just a click. Another way to perform the same task, select your values. Go to value field setting and from this dialog box you can achieve distinct count option. Another way to get the same task done, go to pivot table analyze. From the active field group, select field setting and here we have the same dialog box showing the distinct count option. If you like this tutorial, share it with your friends. Let us know your feedback and suggestion for the future videos in the comments. See you in the next video.